Yeah, we've had incredible growth over the last four years. Uh, we're now at almost 400 people. We're in 11 countries. We're by far the largest uh, provider of the services that we do. So we're excited about all that. Um, you know, one of the big focuses right now in the industry is around viewability and whether my ad's seen or not. Um, this is important. It's something that we're working with the industry to solve. Uh, it's continued challenge to solve not only in, in display and on the web, but in platforms as well. And that's something that we continue to announce integrations and do work there. Um, but it doesn't, doesn't st stop there. And I, sometimes I think the industry thinks like, okay, check the box, move on. The reality is what we're working on is understanding the connection between an ad in view and ultimately an action by that person who's seeing the ad, whether it's uh, buying a, a new car or buying a, a consumer product or signing up for a service. And uh, to us, that's what's really important. It's not whether the ad was seen or not. It's Got to, you got to take care of that, but that's table stakes. It's really then tying the experience with the ad to uh, some sort of action. One of the challenges in the industry is that there's just too much information. There's too many, there's too much data to collect, too many things to look at, too much confusion. And uh, one of our differentiators is we have a, a very large data science team, one that just uh, performed really well at the hackathon here, I'm happy to say. Uh, and it, it, using this data science, we've been able to start to understand which of the data points matter the most. I'm mean, really zeroing on that. So I think that's, first of all, it's too much data. It's really trying to understand what's important as opposed to trying to boil the ocean, so to speak. Um, so that's part of it. And then I think it's, uh, you know, it's getting the technologies to work together so that uh, we're all trying to accomplish the same goal. and. Uh, Again, that's why we're, we're trying to work, with the, work at the brand level to say, what, what are you trying to accomplish and trying to help with that? One of the big things we're seeing right now is that even when people are focused on buying only viewable impressions, um, they're uh, not targeting 100% uh, of their audience very well. So in other words, uh, they're buying viewable ads, but a small percent, say 10%, are seeing 90% of the viewable ads or view of the time in view. Um, so there's a real disparity there, and it's a big waste because you're spending all this money in advertising, but you're not actually telling your story to everyone you're trying to do that to. So we believe the industry is going to move from, is this ad in view or not on this impression, or even how long was it in view for this impression, to tying viewability data to specific target segments or specific individuals to know how long did this consumer see my ad over the life of a campaign, over a quarter, over a year. We call it the consumer ad experience, and we think ultimately that's what brands care about, and we're talking to a lot of brands who say that. You know, it's not about one time. It's like, I want to know in totality what, how much time my brand's been in front of them, and ultimately what does that lead, and what's that optimal amount of time. So we're doing that for brands now. We're measuring not just is it in view, but how, how for every customer, how much in view time, as well as helping them understand, should they be shooting for 40 seconds, 50 seconds, uh, video versus display, should they see the, the, correlate, or the, the connection, does a display ad in view help then lead to a, a more of a, a complete view time on the video. So there's really, really interesting stuff there. And, and ultimately, that's where this industry, we believe, is going, and, uh, and we're happy to be leading in that area.